I wanted to give an advanced tip on using the master bus compressor in your mixing because the master bus compressor is great just right off the shelf, but for certain types of music, it can be even better if you use the sidechain external input. And why is that? Well, it's because if your music has a lot of bass in it and you use the master bus compressor without an external sidechain, you are going to send the entire master channel's audio full frequency range into the master bus compressor and all that low end is going to be driving the compressor a lot more than the top end. So wouldn't it be great if we could bypass the low end entirely and have the master bus compressor only working off of the upper range frequencies? Well that's what the sidechain input does. So to do this we need to create an EQ or a filter that we can filter off that low frequency information and just send the master bus compressor the high frequency information. And you can do this with basically any EQ or filter in Reason. And for the sake of visual simplicity and also I like the sound of it, I'm going to use the Synapse AF4 analog filter. So I'm going to drag that into my rack and I'm going to set up the front panel first. First of all, I don't want to use a low pass filter. I want to use a high pass filter because I just want to let the high frequencies pass through. That's a high pass filter. And I don't want to have a more gentle 12 dB slope, I want to have a more extreme 24 dB slope so that the frequencies really drop off. And then I want to change the cutoff frequency to something that's more higher frequency content. So I'm going to move this up to about 3K. And everything else can stay the same, but as you can see, it's not plugged in. So the way that we wire this up is by taking a separate feed off of the master section, running it through the EQ or filter, and then running that output from the EQ or filter into the sidechain input of the master bus compressor. And we just so happen to have the perfect signal to tap off of the master section, and that's the control room output, because by default, the control room output is using the same master signal that the master output is using. So if we take our wires and wire them into the input of the EQ or filter that you're using, and then wire the output into the sidechain input of the master bus. And once you do that, you'll see that the key light on the master bus compressor is now on. And that means that the master bus compressor is going to be listening to whatever signal we fed it through that sidechain input. So let's go ahead and take a listen to it. We'll turn on the master bus compressor and listen to our music. You're probably wondering, what does it sound like with it off? Well, basically, it's just going to sound a little more flat. Here's it off. Let's turn it on again. You can hear more attack on the kick drum. You can hear the hi-hat sizzling a little more. There's a general bounce to it that wasn't there with it off. I'll turn it off again. And on. Now we can turn off the external sidechain input and hear what it would sound like if we were to hit the compressor with the full range of the audio spectrum. I mean, you can instantly see the problem. The meter's just getting pinned, it sounds squashed, it's horrible. And sure, we could adjust the threshold and we could dial it back to something a little more reasonable, but we're still hitting the compressor with all that bass information, and it's causing the compressor to react in less nice ways. It doesn't have the same kind of bounce. It still sounds a little extra just squashed. So, by leaving the filtered sidechain on, we're sort of helping the compressor hear the right information and behave off of the right frequencies, rather than giving it all this extra information in the low end that's just going to make it work harder and get a worse result in the process. So I hope that helps you. Play with it yourself. Try different EQs or filters. Try different settings on the threshold. Try different cutoff frequencies instead of 3K. Maybe the right thing for your music is 1K or 500 Hertz. The key to the master bus compressor is you just want the meters dancing like this. You don't want to pin the meters. It's not an LA-2A. It's not an 1176. We're not trying to pin the meters. We're trying to just have it behave in a subtle but really musical way. So good luck with it.